Hi, I'm Chris Tate with Atlas Copco, and today I would like to show you a unique solution that Atlas Copco can offer with the PowerFocus 6000 and the STR tool. And we're going to look at one of the most critical applications in the plant, and we're going to be taking a look at tube nut applications. So these are typically your brake lines and fuel lines, so definitely a high safety critical application. Typically there's two tools used to secure these applications, one being a mechanical click wrench, and the second being a power tool with a tube nut head attached to it. So both of these tools have their pros and cons. The mechanical click wrench is an accurate tool as long as the operators use it correctly. So with this, once it clicks over and the beam breaks, the operator needs to immediately stop applying force to it and take it off the fastener and they're good. The problem with this is that they can apply more torque with this click wrench. So if they don't, if they're going really fast and just pulling hard on them, um, or they think tighter's better and give it a little extra pull after the click, then you're gonna apply more torque to your fastener. And in the case of a tube nut, it's a very hard joint. So just a little bit of additional angle can put you over your max torque limit and potentially damage the part. Another issue with it is cycle time. It's an open end and they're gonna to have to manually re-engage the nut every time. So, you know, depending on the application, your swing might not be very long. So it's gonna take them uh, quite a good bit of time to be able to secure the fastener. So typically these will not work to make your cycle time. And then the third issue is that this will also allow them to back the fastener off. So if they remove the wrench fast and maybe are pulling in reverse as they do it, they could potentially back the nut off and you could be letting a loose fastener go out of the plant. The second tool is in this case a DC nut runner with a tube nut head attached to it. Um, so this tool is a fast tool, it's going to make cycle time and it has a transducer on it. So the transducer is going to give you all the air proofing feedback into your plant system. So you're going to get okay, not okay batch count, um, as well as torque data and angle data and trace data. But the issue with this is the inherent design with a tube nut. So we're going to go through a couple slides and we're going to go through a breakdown of a tube nut and show you exactly how they work and exactly what the issues are with them. So here's a typical tube nut application. It's a module that has four tube nuts in it for assembly. And again, here's the tube nut head attached to a nut runner. And here we have a breakdown of the tube nut head itself. So we have the drive socket, and this is what engages with the tube nut. We have the socket opening, and this opening is what allows us to go through the line itself and drop down on the nut to secure it. And then we have the drive gears, and there's always at least two of them. And these gears are what drive the drive socket. So the issue with the tube nut head is the socket opening. We have to have it but that opening allows lubrication inside the head to escape, but also for debris to be pulled into it. So both of those scenarios can create inefficiency with the gearing and with the head itself. Another big issue is that that socket opening, as long as it final torques like it is right now with the opening in front, you're fine. Both gears are engaged. But if we get to final torque and the socket opening lands over one of the gears, now we're only having a one gear engagement on that drive socket, and again, the efficiency changes. So these tools, the transducer's behind the gearing. So the, the transducer doesn't know the efficiency has changed in the head. So we're always gonna show good torque on the controller itself because we're always putting the same torque into the head. The problem is that the torque going out of the head can change given any one of these scenarios. So, the unique solution Atlas Copco can offer for the tube nut applications is using an algorithm called True Angle. Typically, the DC nut runner tube nut head tool is run to a torque control angle monitor strategy. And as we've shown, the tube nut head itself is inefficient and inaccurate. So, a better strategy to run would be an angle control torque monitor strategy. We'd use a very low threshold torque to start our angle, do testing to determine what the target angle would be, and the angle would be much more consistent because the efficiencies wouldn't matter when we're monitoring the angle. The problem with this strategy on a tube nut is that typically this does not lend to being a fixture tool. The operator has to work it around lines or has to reach in or use different positions on it. So that being the case, the operator holding the tool, any float is gonna be read as angle by that strategy, and in turn not being going into the tube nut itself, but being float of the tool. So our torque accuracy is gonna be off as well. With true angle, we use the STR tool, and the STR tool has a built-in gyroscope. So with this gyroscope, when we turn true angle on, we can monitor that tool float. So now the operator can hold it, and if by chance the tool floats a little bit in their hand, the gyroscope will read that and we will compensate that for our target angle. 
So now you can use an angle control torque monitor strategy um, with a handheld tool and not have to worry about that flow. So what we'd like to do is go in and do a little testing. We'll show each strategy, do some runs with it, and show you what the real torque is going into the fastener itself. Okay, so now we're gonna do some testing, and the first strategy we're gonna run is a torque control angle monitor strategy with a target of 18 newton meters. Okay, now we're gonna run the angle control torque monitoring strategy. And on these rundowns, I'm holding the tool very tight to my body, not letting it move much. So now, I'm gonna let the tool float a little, like an operator may do, being that it's a handhold tool. So as you can see with the results, just a little bit of movement in the tool dramatically decreased the torque on it. Um, we're well out of the range of the tool and the low limit on it, and we could not run this strategy this way. So what we're gonna do next is we're going to put a true angle license on the virtual station, and then we're gonna turn that on on the same parameter set that we were running right there, the same strategy, and then we're gonna do the test over again with true angle to show the difference. Okay, so now I'm gonna show you how easy it is to add true angle to a virtual station. So we have our Tools Talk 2 software, which is gonna allow us to manage the different licenses for these algorithms. So if I go into my virtual station and I'm on my tube nut tool virtual station, I can go to virtual station features. And here I can click on add and select true angle. Hit okay. And now I just need to push this change to the controller. So now I've added true angle to the virtual station on the controller. I can go back to my strategy the angle control, and now I can simply turn true angle on, and then it's gonna give me limits for positive and negative, and these can be used for a safety feature. If a tool's moving too far in an operator hand, one way or another, these limits will shut the tool down. I'm gonna leave these set at 90, but you can adjust them to whatever you want. And now that that's turned on, we'll apply this to the program, and we are all set. So now we'll do some testing with the strategy with true angle turned on. Okay, so now that we've added the true angle license to the virtual station and we've applied that to the torque control angle monitoring strategy, we're gonna run the test over again. And I'm gonna let the tool float like I did on the previous test. So as you can see from our test results, uh, the torque control only strategy did show the variation that we thought it did when we monitored it with an auditing transducer. The angle control torque monitoring strategy worked well until we let the tool float in our hands. But when we did add the true angle into the virtual station and added it to the program, the, the variation was compensated for with the true angle and we were much more accurate. So there's one other product I'd like to show you from Atlas Copco that can help you out in these tube nut stations. Um, as we discussed, the tube nut head has a very low durability and it's a high maintenance product. Um, when these fail, uh, when the line is running, it could shut you down for 10 to 20 minutes while maintenance comes out and changes out the tool and gets it back up and running. So typically this would be either pushed out to repair or the line would be down. So Atlas Copco has the MWR click wrench. 
Um, so this wrench is tied to the Power Focus 6000 and can be run on a second virtual station. This click wrench has a transducer and a gyroscope in it, so we can detect torque and angle with it. So the issues with the other mechanical click wrenches where you could over torque or back out a fastener, this will eliminate that. We can monitor if it's in a loosening mode and you're backing out a fastener. And if you go over torque, we'll monitor that also and it'll be a not okay. So we're gonna run one down now with the MWR wrench. And here we got an okay. So we have a minimum angle set up in the wrench itself. So if an operator were to go and do a rehit, it's not gonna pass. It's not gonna meet the minimum angle. If they were to over torque it, even though it did click, same scenario. It clicked, but it didn't buy off. The over torque, the additional angle on it, put it into outside your upper limits, so it was not okay as well. And again, with this wrench, we can monitor that they're backing off a fastener if that were to happen. So this can be in station. If your tube nut tool goes down, you can pull this up. It's tied to the controller. It's in your air proofing system. They can be up and going and tightening down the tube nuts right away while the tube nut tool is being swapped out by maintenance. I hope you found this information useful. If you'd like to schedule a demo in your plant, please reach out to your local regional sales manager. Thank you.